What's going on everyone? Alex De Silva, happy as Larry Group. I hope you are well. And welcome to another self-care episode. And today, interestingly enough, <clears throat> I was meant to do this video a little while back, but for some reason I just wanted to, 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 to wait. There's been a few changes and there's been some news, you know, out in the world of things that uh, you know, we're getting back to normal <laughs> and uh, so I think now today this video is very appropriate because in a few days you know everything is going to start to reopen and you know we're going to start to go back to some form of normality and I wanted to talk about safety because it's been you know we've been given guidelines and some of them very clear some of them not clear at all <laughs> there's been no real you know, there's there's not really been anything, anything kind of substantial that we can kind of take away from all of this and, and to say, OK, right, you know, this is what I must do. Uh, there's been grey areas and there's been a lot of questioning, I, I think. But look, regardless to, to all of that, that's not what I'm here to talk about. What I am here to talk about is always about you, your safety. <clears throat> so for me personally, with Lucy, with Ruby and, and the kids and family, friends, you know, safety always comes first. You know, this is why it's self-care episodes. And if you have been watching the episodes, you've been watching the videos, you've been keeping up, then you will see that every single one of them have a pattern. And, you know, safety is a huge one when it comes down to us, you know. We have to look after ourselves. We have this little, this little switch. To keep it simple, we have this little switch in our brain, which is there to protect us. Our brain is here to protect us. <clears throat> you know, our brain is millions and millions and millions of years old, billions, in fact. And we've had these incredible patterns of behaviors and things that we've learned. But the one thing that always remains is fight or flight system is the thing that keeps us alive. We either fight or we're going to run. <laughs> we're going to run as fast as we can, uh, you know, whether it's danger. So safety is important and we know that. But I want to highlight this a little bit more because with what's happening at the moment, you know, with they're going to be opening restaurants and pubs and bars and, you know, and, and cinemas and so on and so forth. And all of these are all of the things that, that I love. I love social places. Obviously, as many of you know, I don't drink. So for me, I still go to, to a pub and a bar to, to socialize with family and friends. And um, it's it's really imperative now for you to start to look at yourself and start to think, you know, start to question motives. And this is where we start to get a little bit deep is, why are you going and putting yourself in in a place that potentially could be unsafe? You know, is it because you want to go out and have a drink or, or yes, of course, we all do. But if you've waited for four months, can you wait for a little bit longer, you know, for, for things to die down? You know, does it have to be this huge rush? Like I've noticed that pubs are now particularly where, near where my parents live. You know, there's a pub across the road that's opened all of a sudden everybody's in there you can't be in the pub but you can buy a drink and then you can stand outside the pub so basically where it's fully residential there's people outside the pub outside my parents house there's like a lovely little seat which is by a bus stop and there's a bit of grass and I came out the other day and there's a ton of people sat there drinking beers outside my parents house and everybody was lovely because it's a nice area so it was fine there was no chaos but this is the 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 thing now is you know we we are in a culture where we live in a society that we're in we've been locked up for a long time so going out having a drink going out and just having some form of excitement you know we're all looking forward to it trust me Lucy and I are looking for it you know we're looking forward to it um but we want to make sure that we're safe. You know, we're looking, you know, making sure that we, we're still following some final form of, of guidelines, not putting ourselves in a place where, you know, our mind is not safe, our body is not safe, our spirit is not safe. So we continue to put our daily practices in place. One of the things that I learned early, early on, one of my, my early mentors said to me, you know, when I came into recovery, he said, look, you always need an exit plan. 
So make sure that when you're going into these situations, you have your exit plan. What is your exit plan? How are you going to keep yourself safe in these situations for people who are in recovery? You're early in or if you've had a relapse, you know how tough this can be being in social places. You know, and if you're feeling uncomfortable, you're not in a good place. And even if you're not in recovery, just normal, you know, if you're just in a normal situation, you're still a human being. Make sure you have a safety plan. Make sure you have an exit plan where you're looking after yourself continuously. Don't just disregard things. And, you know, because look, your personal safety is always has to come number one. So make sure you're looking after yourself. Put yourself first. You know, I know everything is really exciting. I'm really looking forward to, you know, to going out with with Lucy, having a date night and, you know, to spending some time together, you know, and, and also spending time with family. Like one of the routines we had was to go out for a meal when the kids were here at the weekend. So to go back to doing these things, the things that we're really looking forward to, of course, things are not going to be, I guess, is, is how it was, but it is what it is. Can't change that. You know, we just kind of continue to, to do what we have to do, but we we do it safely. So I want to share that with you. And, and again, look, you know, what your safety is, is, of course, down to you. What you find, you put yourself in a place where you're not putting yourself in danger. Of course, you're, you know, you know what's best for you. But if you don't, then reach out. Ask a question. You know, uh, that's one of the biggest things that I've learned. Vulnerability has to come first, you know, as well. You know, put yourself out there and say, listen, I don't really know what to do. Like, what do I need to do? I'm a little bit worried. This is what's going on for me. I'm feel a bit stressed, a little bit anxious that all the shops are opening. You know, now there is a guideline where it's a meter, a meter plus. What's a meter plus? I don't even know what that means. Is it a meter plus one, a meter plus two? Of course, I know that they're kind of explaining it, but again, it's all very vague. So, Put yourself, your safety first, you know, and make sure that you feel comfortable in these situations. And as I said, exit plan. Make sure you have an ex exit plan. If you don't feel safe, make sure that you're you're keeping yourself in, in, in a good place. Look, healthy mind, body, spirit. I say this all the time, every single video. Healthy mind, healthy body, healthy spirit. If you have all of these things in place and you're connected all the time, and you're eating the right things, you have a, a good, solid daily practice in the morning. If you go out and do exercise or you're reading, you're doing something, you're looking after yourself, sleeping. These all are part of your safety plans. So enjoy yourself. Today is not that sunny. Today's a little bit chilly. But you know what? It is what it is. It's still it's another day. It's going to be another week. It's going to be amazing. And I just want to say thank you. As always, for watching, for listening, for commenting, for sharing. I love you guys. You guys are phenomenal. You know, and, and it really helps us to continue to share positivity. I think it's important that we do because there are so many of us out there that we are strong, that we can carry on and, and send out messages and try to help others, but there are others that need this. So make sure that we're sharing positivity and and less of of the negativity that's also part of your safety as well you know keep yourself in a place of positivity as much as you possibly can and again having a good safety plan a good exit plan keeps you safe you know in in everyday life so have an amazing day afternoon evening wherever you are in the world and as always be great be fantastic and be absolutely phenomenal today and i'll speak to you very soon take care